If you're still not making money online, this is the best time to get started. Because with the use of AI, everything has become so much simpler. And in today's tutorial, I'll share with you a method that you can use to create amazing coloring books just like these ones that you can then use to create passive income for yourself. So without wasting time, let me show you how. First, go over to Pick Lumen. With this AI tool, you'll be able to create your images for absolutely free. And you'll also have access to the new Flux AI image model. Other than that, you'll be able to create beautiful images just like these ones from a simple text. You'll also be able to personalize your images by using an image reference. And other than that, you'll also have access to the in-painting feature as well as the out-painting feature. You'll also have access to diverse styles of creating your images such as anime. You'll also have access to the realistic style as well as the line art and the artistic style. Now let's go ahead and try pick Lumen. So we are going to go back to the top and you're going to click on generate for free. So you'll be able to sign up with your Google account or any email address that you have. So once you're here, you can go through the explore page to see what others have created. And if for any reason you find an image that you actually like, all you need to do is just go to the specific image and click on it just like this. So once the image opens up, you can go to the very bottom and hit the remix button. And this way you'll be able to create your very own image using the same settings as the image. As you can see, all the settings have been exported automatically. Now we have the model over here, the aspect ratio, the generation mode, and also have the number of images per generation. As you can see, the prompt was also imported, so you can go ahead and make a few changes if you like. For instance, I can go ahead and change the aspect ratio to the ratio that I want. In the generation mode, you can choose between quality and fast. So if you choose fast, you'll get your generations faster. But if you choose quality, you'll get a better quality of your images. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose quality with this. Next, you can choose the number of images that you want per generation. So you can choose uh, from one all the way to four. Next, you can also choose the model that you want to use. So we have the flux one. We also have the line art. Next, we have the anime and the realistic. So you can choose from any of those models. Again, in the prompt area, you can go ahead and tweak the prompt if you need to. So once that is set up, just hit generate. So our images will be ready in a few minutes. And as you can see, here are the images. So that is how you use the remix feature. Now, this is not something, these images are not particularly images you'd use in a coloring book. So let's go ahead and do something different over here. So first, you're going to go ahead and choose a different model. Now, from the model tab, I'll go ahead and choose the Pick Lumen line art. Next, I'll go ahead and choose the aspect ratio that I want. So I want something that is more portrait. So I'm going to choose two is to three. I think that is best. So next, I'll go ahead and choose the, the generation mode. And for this, I'll just leave it at quality. I prefer it that way. And for the images, I'll go ahead and choose two. Next, I'm going to input a prompt in the prompt box. So let me just go ahead and do that. And once that is done, now you can go ahead and hit generate. And again, the image generation will take a few minutes. So here are our images, as you can see. These are images that are perfect for a coloring book because the lines are thin and as you can see, somebody can actually go ahead and color this image. Now, what we need to do is go ahead and generate our images in the same manner. Now, I want my book to be 60 pages long and I'm going to make a coloring book on fairies. So what I'm going to do is I cannot sit down and come up with ideas for 60 pages. That is going to take a lifetime. So what I'm going to do is I'll go over to ChatGPT and I'm going to ask it to give me ideas for each of the 60 pages. So I'm just going to go ahead and input the prompt. So I'll specify that I want 60 pages and I want ideas for each page. So now here are the ideas they're already being generated. So now here we have our 60 ideas. So once you have an idea for each page, the next thing that you need to do is ask ChatGPT to give you the exact prompt that you're going to use to generate each of these pages. Now I'm just going to go ahead and input the prompt. So just be very clear and specific on what you expect. So once that is done, then I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to wait for it to generate all the prompts that I can use to generate these images. 
so here are the prompts as you can see it's generated all the 60 prompts that i can use so now i'm going to copy each of these prompts and i'm going to go back with it to pick lumen so back to pick lumen i'll go ahead and input the prompt in the prompt box i'm just going to i'm just going to go ahead and paste it over here next i'll hit generate so another way that you can do this is that you can download an image that you like and next go over to charge pt and just go ahead and upload that image and once you've uploaded the image then you're going to ask it to give you a prompt that you can use to generate images in the same manner so on this attachment icon just click on it and then you can go ahead and upload your image from your computer or from your google drive so i'm going to upload this image from my computer once it's uploaded i'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me a prompt that i can use to generate the said 60 images in the same manner as the one attached in the image so once that is done it's going to give you prompts that you can use to generate your images in the same manner so that's just another route that you can take but the first one works pretty well as well back to pick lumen you can see our images are ready so these are very beautiful as you can see these are images that you can absolutely use for a coloring book now what you need to do is Follow the same process, like repeat the same procedure until you've generated all the images that you want. So in my case, I'm generating 60 images. So I'm just going to go back to ChatGPT. I'm going to copy the next prompt, then back to pick Lumen. I'm going to paste it and then generate. Just repeat this process until you have all the images. So I have generated all my images. As you can see, very nice coloring pages over here. Now, what I need to do is go ahead and download each of these images. So all you need to do is just click on the image and you'll be able to download each of them. Next, I'll go over to Canva and I'll click on create a design. Then I'll input the dimensions of my book. And once all that is done, now I'll go over to uploads and I'm going to upload all the images that I created earlier on with Piclomen. So once all the images have uh, been uploaded, then I'm going to start creating my book, my coloring book. Next, go ahead and fit the images in the Canva pages. Make sure they are appearing exactly how you would want them to appear. So mine will have bleed, so I'm just going to make sure that it covers the entire page. I have no problem with that. Since I want my images to have a blank page on the back side, I'm going to skip a page after each image. And I'm going to repeat this process until I have all my coloring pages. So I'm just going to do this with all the pages. So here is my book. Uh, it's now complete. Now what I'm going to do is I'll go back to the very top. And I'm going to add another image and another page in the very beginning. So now I think the book is ready. So now you can just go through your book just to make sure that everything is okay. So the book looks pretty good to me. Now what I need to do is go back to the top and I'm going to click on share. Then I'll go over to download and I'm going to download this as a PDF. So when you're downloading the book, just make sure you download all the pages. Now once that is done, I'll go over to KDP. So now I'm going to download a template for my book cover. So all you need to do is fill all the details over here. Then click on calculate dimension. So as you can see, here is the template for my book cover. I can go ahead and download this. Next, I'll go back to Canva and I'm going to input the dimensions that I got from KDP. And I'm going to create a new design for my book cover with that. So once that is done, now I'm going to design a cover using this and I can upload the template that I got from KDP to guide me on the dimensions just to make sure that everything is within the right margins. So now here is the cover that I've created. So this is just an example. You can obviously do a much better job. Next, go over to KDP, create your account if you do not have one. If you have one, just go ahead and log in and click on create. Then you'll be able to upload your new book. Just go ahead and fill all the details that are necessary. Choose the type of book that you want and fill all the necessary details. And in 72 hours, your book will be live. So go ahead and try this. Let me know your experience with it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.